The big question, the enforcement directorate grills your leader Rahul Gandhi. What does the Congress do? Hits the streets. The government says this is obstruction of justice. Allow the law to take its own course. As a lawyer politician, how do you respond to that? Complete rubbish. First, the enforcement directorate doesn't grill anyone. Going my experience, they ask you a couple of questions and then they were long silence for about half an hour while I prepared the third and fourth question. Be that as it may. We have no objection if the ED follows the law. If the ED violates the law, we're entitled to protest against the violation of the law. A protest against the violation of the law is not obstruction of justice, it is furtherance of justice. Sir, but if you think that law is being violated, this is a matter which has already been in court for a long time. You can go to the court and claim that a malified investigation is there. When you go and protest in the manner that you do, the suggestion will be that you've got, or that's the implication that the government is drawing, that you've got something to hide and therefore you're protesting. Complete rubbish. What have we got to hide? The matter is pending in the Supreme Court. The income tax matter is pending in the Supreme Court before a bench of two or three judges. I'm appearing in the matter. So this is well known. All the facts are there in the income tax proceedings. Mm -hmm. And then there is no FIR for a predicate offense. Let the ED tell us which is the FIR for the scheduled offense or predicate offense. Without an FIR for a predicate offense or what we call a scheduled offense, there can be no case under the PMLA. So we have asked them, mm -hmm. they are still not able to tell us which is the FIR, so in which police station is it registered. You are referring to the Prevention of Money Laundering Act case in this, uh, in this matter where the ED is allegedly investigating Rahul Gandhi, but look at the chronology. You know, to use Amit Shah's words, chronology, Samaji, uh, Mr. Chidambaram, Associate Journals that was set up by Nehru in 1937, publishes National Herald, Associate Journal runs into losses, debt of 90 crore, stops publishing in 2008, the Congress which is then in power gives a 90 crore interest-free loan to AJL, a company two years later, Young India is set up in 2010 with Sonia and Rahul Gandhi allegedly holding 76% of that, and then... Uh, YIL had a share capital of 5 lakhs, takes a loan from a Kolkata shell firm, Dotex merchandise of 1 crore, pays the Congress 50 lakhs to recover this debt of 90.25 crore that was given in 2008. The Congress weighs the debt. YIL takes over AGL in December 2010 for just 50 lakhs and gets control of AGL assets worth 2,000 crores. And this is done without consent of all stakeholders. This is the chronology which the ED and the IT say they are investigating, which they say is a sugar-coated deal to ensure assets are transferred to the Gandhi family. Complete rubbish. Which law is violated? Tell me. You have delved into the facts. Tell me which law is violated. Obviously, you have no answer. The government, the, the prima facie already, the courts have said that there is an income tax uh, violation. Which criminal law is violated to invoke the PMLA? Income tax violations, alleged violations, are not a scheduled offense, not a predicate offense on the PMLA. We are now talking about a PMLA case. The income tax case is being fought in different forums and now in the Supreme Court. You were able to read out from a press release of the PMLA uh, authority or the government. Mm -hmm. You're not able to tell me which law is violated. Sir, the PMLA <laughs> is an ongoing investigation. It's an ongoing investigation. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, at, as of now, as of now, they may not have filed the uh, exact charges, but they could do so on a future date. For I that, think, they need to question think, Rahul Gandhi. Is the, the questioning itself prima facie illegal in your view? Have you read the PMLA? Have you read any provision of the PMLA? Sir, I have detailed... I'm asking you a simple question. Have you read the PMLA? Yes, sir, I have. You have. All right. Then do you know Section 2U, which defines proceeds of crime? Proceeds of crime must relate to criminal activity referring to a scheduled offense. Which is the scheduled offense? You tell us that. If there is no scheduled offense, there is no proceeds of crime. 
If there are no proceeds of crime, Section 3 of the PMLA does not apply. So we are asking a simple question, mm -hmm. which is the scheduled offense, and where is the FIR? Mm -hmm. Why don't you turn around and ask your ED friends, mm -hmm. which police station is the FIR being registered, by which authority? Give us a copy of the FIR. So you are focusing on the PMLA in the context of the Enforcement Directorate questioning Rahul Gandhi. The fact is, the government is saying, A, it was illegal for a political party to lend money for commercial purposes as per Section 29A of the Representation of the People Act, Section 13A of the Income Tax Act 1961. So the primary offenses were in the context of income tax. The Enforcement Directorate has come into the picture now. They are questioning it in the belief, me, I, in the belief I, I, that an, no, no, a Benami, no, no, uh, just a minute, sir, a no, Benami sorry, transaction I, was involved involving sorry, a Kolkata-based company called I, Dotex Merchandise. I, I will not, I will not let you read from a readout. Okay. You are reading from a readout prepared by somebody. By the government. You must answer my question. Mm -hmm. Which is the offence? Which is the predicate offence? Which is the offence? Which is a scheduled offence? Where is the FIR? How do you respond to, as I said, all of this is day, uh, our details coming from government, loan of one crore from an alleged shell firm called Dotex okay. Merchandise? I think this is a complete waste of time. Complete waste of time. You do don't know where the FIR is, you don't know what the scheduled offense is, and you're jumping to the PMLA. I am telling you, there is no FIR in, registered in any police station for a scheduled offense. Mm -hmm. Show me the scheduled offense, show me the FIR, and then the PMLA investigation can start. If there is no scheduled offense and there is no FIR, there is a judgment of Justice Vineet Saran in about 8th of May of 2022, which says that if there is no scheduled offense, there is no PMLA.